Okay, we're going to demonstrate a cleft graft. Here's the root stuff. This is a myroglin seedling, and we're grafting a Dara plum to it. Remember what I said earlier, the Adara is an inner stem type plum, or a, a rootstock plum that has capability of grafting several different <coughs> species of prunus to this rootstock. I usually cut out any buds that might be under my tape before I do the rest of it. So we're doing a cleft graft, so the first thing I do I put this on to protect my hand. Let's make the cleft. I usually go down, oh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, something like that. Give myself plenty of room for this, for the cyan. Make sure the buds are pointing up. And what I usually do is find a nice bud and put that between my fingers. Then I take two cuts, slightly angled in. That's one side, do the same thing, start at the same place, slightly angled in. It's not quite done yet, so let's try again. Okay, there we go. We have a nice straight cuts nice long taper and we place that in the cleft line up the cambium on the outside here and then I usually look at the light and see if I can see any daylight through there I can't so that's a really good thing no daylight through there now Let's leave three buds. And then we wrap it. We call this tying or bonding or here again get your cambia lined up beautifully. Come below the cleft and wrap it very tightly. I'm really pulling this tight. Sometimes I put it so tight the tape breaks. Remember I use freezer tape for this. It's a little stronger than masking tape. It has good adhesion, plus it's a little bit more water resistant. Let's put another little piece right at the top here. Right around there. I'll make that really tight. Get it good and tight around. Then I'm going to take a piece of parafilm. Now a little trick is when you're using a parafilm, if you put it in your shirt pocket, it's nice and warm. So that when you take it out, you can stretch it better. Of course, these two are stuck together over there. There we go. Take the paper backing off, fold it in half, like I showed you in the video. Then we're going to stretch it just like this, starting right below the cliff, right below the top of the cliff. We're going to wrap, and we want to make sure we have plenty of tape around that cliff part because that may not be sealed yet. And then we're going to wrap it up to the top. This one may not be quite long enough. Oh, I think I just made it. Okay. So, this part is probably not necessary. I do like to cut cover the top, but this time of year, I like to have it covered all the way. Then make sure that this part here is nice and tight. And it's good, and, paraffin is good and tight around your side. And that's a cleft graft.